Hello everyone, welcome to Current Affair MCQ's program. Let's begin with previous day's practice question. Question was, consider the following statements about a suspended member of parliament. 1. They can enter galleries, lobbies and chambers of the parliament. 2. They can continue to attend committee meetings they are part of. 3. Their daily allowance is withheld for the duration of the suspension. Which of the above statements is or are correct? 1 and 2 only, 2 and 3 only, 3 only or 1, 2 and 3. The correct answer is option C, 3 only. They are refused permission to enter galleries, lobbies and chambers. Hence, statement 1 is not correct. They cannot attend committee meetings. There are several committees in parliament that every member is a part of. Hence, statement 2 is not correct. They also cannot join in official tours of the committee and other events during the period of suspension. Their daily allowance is also withheld for the duration of the suspension. Hence, statement 3 is correct. Therefore, option C is the correct answer. Now, let's begin today's session. First question is, consider the following statements regarding Prasar Bharti. One Prasar Bharti is a statutory autonomous body established under the Prasar Bharti Act 1997. Two Prasar Bharti is the largest public broadcasting agency in the country and it includes Doordarshan Television Network and All India Radio. Which of the statements given above is or are correct? One only, two only, both one and two or neither one nor two. The correct answer is option C, both one and two. Prasar Bharti is India's largest public broadcasting agency. It is a statutory autonomous body set up by the Prasar Bharti Act in 1997. Hence, statement 1 is correct. It comprises the Doordarshan Television Network and All India Radio, which were earlier media units of the Ministry of Information and Broadcasting. Hence, statement 2 is correct. Therefore, option C is the correct answer. Next question is, consider the following statements regarding Mudiyattu. One, it is a traditional ritual theater and folk dance drama from Kerala that enacts the mythological tale of a battle between the goddess Kali and the demon Darika. Two, the ritual is a part of the Bhagwati or Bhadrakali cult and is performed between February and May after the harvesting season. Three, Mudiyattu is part of UNESCO's representative list of the intangible cultural heritage of humanity. How many of the statements given above is or are correct? Only one, only two, all three or none? The correct answer is option C, all three. Mudiyattu is a ritual theatre and dance drama of Kerala that enacts the mythological tale of a battle between the goddess Kali and the demon Darika. Hence, statement one is correct. The ritual is a part of the Bhagwati or Bhadrakali cult and is performed in Bhagwati temples usually between February and May after the harvest. Hence, statement 2 is correct. The performance is done by members of the Marar and Kuruppu communities who paint their faces and wear elaborate costumes and headgears. The ritual ends with the victorious Kali entering the stage holding the head of the Arika followed by a song of praise to Shiva. Mudiyattu is a UNESCO intangible cultural heritage of humanity and the second art form from Kerala after Kutiyattam. Hence, statement 3 is correct. Therefore, option C is the correct answer. Next question is consider the following statements about Antarctic circumpolar current that is ACC. One ACC links the Atlantic, Pacific and Indian Oceans and is the primary means of interbasin exchange of heat. Two, the current flows from west to east around Antarctica. Which of the statements given above is or are correct? One only, two only, both one and two or neither one nor two. The correct answer is option C, both one and two. ACC is the only current in the global ocean to close upon itself in a circumpolar loop. This trait makes the ACC the most important current in the Earth's climate system because it links the Atlantic, Pacific and Indian Oceans and is the primary means of interbasin exchange of heat, carbon dioxide, chemicals, biology and other tracers. Hence, statement 1 is correct. The ACC is created by the combined effects of strong westerly winds across the southern ocean and the big change in surface temperatures between the equator and the poles. The current flows from west to east around Antarctica. Hence, statement 2 is correct. Ocean density increases as water gets colder and as it gets saltier. The warm, salty surface waters of the subtropics are much lighter than the cold, pressure waters close to Antarctica. Therefore, option C is the correct answer. Next question is consider the following statements. 1. The electronic soil or East soil is a novel conductive cultivation substrate designed specifically for hydroponic systems. 
टू हाइड्रोपोनिक्स इज अ मेथड ऑफ ग्रोइंग प्लांट्स इन अ वाटर बेस्ड न्यूट्रिय रिच सोल्यूशन विदाउट द यूज ऑफ सॉइल विच ऑफ द स्टेटमेंट गिवन अब इज और आर करेक्ट वन ओनली टू ओनली बोथ वन एंड टू और नीदर वन नॉर टू द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन सी बोथ वन एंड टू द इलेक्ट्रॉनिक सॉइल और ई सॉइल डेवलप्ड इज अ नोवल कंडक्टिव कल्टिवेशन सबस्ट्रेट टेलर्ड स्पेसिफिकली फॉर हाइड्रोपोनिक सिस्टम्स Unlike traditional substrates like mineral wool, which are non-biodegradable and manufactured using energy-intensive processes, e-soil is composed of cellulose, a biopolymer blended with a conductive polymer known as PEDOT. Hence, statement one is correct. Hydroponics is a method of growing plants in a water-based, nutrient-rich solution in a soilless media. It does not use soil. Instead, the root system is supported using an inert medium. such as perlite rock wool clay pellets peat moss and vermiculite the fundamental is to allow the plants roots to come in direct contact with the nutrient solution while also having access to oxygen which is essential for proper growth hence statement 2 is correct therefore option c is the correct answer next question is consider the following statements one according to the report from the wildlife protection society of india Madhya Pradesh has recorded the highest number of tiger fatalities in India. Two Karnataka is home to the second highest tiger population in India. Three as per the latest report by International Union for the Conservation of Nature tigers have gone extinct in Cambodia, Laos and Vietnam. How many of the above statements are correct? Only one, only two, all three or none? The correct answer is option B, only two. Maharashtra has recorded the highest number of tiger fatalities with 52 deaths prompting apprehensions regarding the adequacy of conservation measures in the state hence statement 1 is not correct Tamil Nadu and Kerala recorded 15 tiger deaths each reflecting a widespread issue across regions Karnataka with the second highest tiger population reported 13 deaths hence statement 2 is correct According to the International Union for the Conservation of Nature the tiger has gone extinct in Cambodia, Laos and Vietnam due to poaching and habitat loss. This is a tragic loss for the world's biodiversity. However, there are still efforts being made to conserve the tiger population in other countries. India for example is home to 75% of the world's tiger population. Hence statement 3 is correct. Therefore option B is the correct answer. Next question is regarding the rice in a dialogue consider the following statements one the conference is hosted by the observer research foundation in partnership with the ministry of external affairs two the dialogue comprises a diverse discussion with heads of state ministers local officials and thought leaders from the private sector media and academia which of the above statements is or are correct one only two only both one and two or neither one nor two the correct answer is option c both one and two The Raisina Dialogue is India's premier conference on geopolitics and geoeconomics committed to addressing the most challenging issues facing the global community. The conference is hosted by the Observer Research Foundation in partnership with the Ministry of External Affairs, Government of India. Hence statement 1 is correct. The dialogue is structured as a multi-stakeholder cross-sectoral discussion involving heads of state, cabinet ministers and local government officials. who are joined by thought leaders from the private sector media and academia hence statement 2 is correct therefore option c is the correct answer next question is regarding the coalition for disaster resilient infrastructure consider the following statements one it is india's first major global initiative launched in 2019 at the united nations climate action summit in new york two its secretariat is based in new delhi india Three, it aims to increase the resilience of infrastructure systems to climate and disaster risk, thereby ensuring sustainable development. Which of the statements given above is or are correct? One and two only, two and three only, three only, or one, two and three? The correct answer is option B, two and three only. CDRI is India's second major global initiative after the International Solar Alliance. It was launched in 2019 at the United Nations Climate Action Summit in New York. Hence, statement one is not correct. The CDRI secretariat is based in New Delhi, India. Hence statement 2 is correct. It aims to increase the resilience of infrastructure systems to climate and disaster risk thereby ensuring sustainable development. Hence statement 3 is correct. Therefore option B is the correct answer. Next question is regarding life that is lifestyle for environment. Consider the following statements. One it was launched at the 2023 G20 summit by the Prime Minister of India to bring individual behaviors to the forefront. 
of the global climate action narrative two life and visions replacing the prevalent use and dispose economy governed by mindless and destructive consumption with a circular economy which of the statements given above is or are correct one only two only both one and two or neither one nor two the correct answer is option b two only at the 2021 un climate change conference honorable prime minister of india shri narendra modi announced mission life to bring individual behaviors to the forefront of the global climate action narrative and statement one is not correct life and visions replacing the prevalent use and dispose economy governed by mindless and destructive consumption with a circular economy which would be defined by mindful and deliberate utilization the mission intends to nudge individuals to undertake simple acts in their daily lives that can contribute significantly to climate change when embraced across the world hence statement 2 is correct therefore option b is the correct answer next question is regarding the press and registration of periodicals bill 2023 consider the following statements one it replaced the press and registration of books act 1867 which governed the registration of the print and publishing industry in the country to the new bill substantially decriminalizes all violations under the old 1867 act three the exact reproduction of a foreign periodical may be printed in india only with the prior approval of the central government which of the statements given above is or are correct one and two only two only three only or one two and three the correct answer is option d one two and three the press and registration of periodicals bill 2023 was passed by the parliament it replaced the press and registration of books act 1867 which governed the registration of print and publishing industry in the country since 1867 hence statement 1 is correct the new bill substantially decriminalizes all violations under the old one earlier minor violations of the act were penalized with imprisonment up to 6 months hence statement 2 is correct An exact reproduction of a foreign periodical may be printed in India only with the prior approval of the central government. The manner of registration of such periodicals will be prescribed. Hence statement 3 is correct. Therefore option D is the correct answer. Last question is regarding the logistics exchange memorandum of agreement. Consider the following statements. 1 LEMOA is a pact outlining fundamental terms conditions and procedures for mutual logistics support supplies and services between the armed forces of India and the United States 2 the agreement creates an obligation on either party to carry out any joint activity 3 it provides for the establishment of military bases or basing arrangements which of the statements given above is or are correct 1 only 2 only 2 and 3 only or 1 2 and 3 the correct answer is option A 1 only India and the United States have signed the Logistics Exchange Memorandum of Agreement that is LEMOA in Washington DC USA on 29th August 2016 LEMOA is a facilitating agreement that establishes basic terms conditions and procedures for reciprocal provision of logistics support supplies and services between the armed forces of India and the United States hence statement 1 is correct The agreement does not create any obligations on either party to carry out any joint activity. Hence statement 2 is not correct. It does not provide for the establishment of any bases or basing arrangements. Hence statement 3 is not correct. Therefore option A is the correct answer. Now it's time for the practice question regarding the South Asian Association for Regional Cooperation. Consider the following statements. One it was established with the signing of the SARC charter in Dhaka in the year 1985. Two South Asian University is an international university located in Dhaka. Three SARC Arbitration Council is an intergovernmental body having its office in Pakistan, mandated to provide a legal framework or forum within the region. Which of the statements given above is or are correct? One and two only, two and three only, one and three only, or one, two and three? Send the answer of this question in the comment section. Stay tuned for the next episode. Thanks for watching and happy new year to all of you.